guys, so today I'm really excited to do this. I have not done one of these in forever, and I wanted to do a video all on my perfume collection. I'm gonna show you how I store mine and give you some tips because a lot of times I hold off doing this because my collection doesn't really change that much, but lately it has, or over the last year or so I guess it has. It's been a while since I've done a video like this. And um, fragrance is really fun. It's a really personal thing, but it's also a really fun way to explore with like beauty, and it's just fun. And um, I've also got some good tips, I think, to share about how to have like a signature scent and how to kind of incorporate that with other things because that's where I struggle is I have one scent and if you've been watching me for a while you already know what it is but it's one scent that I wear that I have worn for years that is just me and so a lot of times when I buy other fragrances it's like you know when you have that signature scent that you like which I'm sure a lot of you it's very clear what yours is like you know you know you just know which one that you love and which one is you it's hard to have fun with other scents sometimes, and sometimes you feel like, well, I can't really buy that, because then, you know, I want to still smell like me. I want to still wear my signature scent. I'm going to give you a really good tip. It's kind of like a no-brainer easy thing, but it works for me, and I really like it. So I'm going to kind of share with you guys what I've been into lately. I cleaned out my perfume a while back. I'm not, like, the type that likes to have a whole lot, although I feel like I do have a lot, but, um, but I don't just collect perfume, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I really... While I feel like I like to have some different types, I feel like all of mine don't just smell the same. Um, they're all within what I really like. I'm not the type that just is like, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that, and then I just have just like all these random ones. I really am kind of picky about the ones that I like, as I'm sure all of you guys are, because we all have our own tastes. But yeah, I just, I got rid of so many that were old and that stunk. Perfume, again, that's something else. It's expensive, and, you know, I want to have just... A wearable amount you know I don't want to have so many that I end up throwing some away which that has happened to me over the years they end up smelling and it's like Ugh. and then also I get sucked into cute packaging there's one by Moschino that I really want that's the teddy bear that they have at Nordstrom I really want that so bad I have no idea what it smells like but I want that so bad because I like the teddy bear but but again I try you know I, I am the type that like I said sometimes I'll get sucked into stuff like that but very rarely, and um, I really just like to obviously shop for fragrance in person. That's like a no-brainer. So I brought them all in in a basket, and I also have these that have like those roller balls or samples, and I'll just kind of briefly talk about those too. Um, okay, so like I said, if you know me at all, you know that my signature scent is Gucci 2. It is super unique which is my problem with a lot of fragrances nowadays, is I feel like they all smell the same. A lot of them all smell the same. Um, but this one is so yummy and sort of, it's very woodsy. Like, it has a cedar wood hint or a cedar wood note to it. I, again, like, I am not going to be like, it has an undernote and a top note. I'm just going to describe what it smells like to me. And, yeah, but it has, like, a cedar wood. I do know I've read that before to it, and it's, very like um has a florally scent but it's not like a cheap florally scent it's a very i don't want to say heavy because at the same time it's very creamy this just smells like an expensive i hate to say that but it smells like a very nice perfume and it just i can't tell you how many compliments i get on this i feel like it smells comforting and cozy uh, it works in the summertime and translates to like a summery scent because it's not heavy it's you know, it can also be like kind of fresh, but then at the same time, it to me has that sort of weight to it that can like a creaminess that's very comforting and very like wintry fall. To me, this just it smells like fall. Um, so I don't, it's just lovely and um, it, it's something that I just spray and not think about. Like I can spray it like on my body or you know, anywhere and it's not overpowering, you know, it just smells like me. I just like it. And then, the good thing about that is, like I said, it is not super, like, overwhelming. I've had that, but at the same time, it's nice. It stays with you. It probably, it wears a very, very long time. Probably, I hate to even say this. I've probably had, like, ten of those. Like, it's no joke. Um, I wore that on our wedding day. I just, I love it. It's just my favorite. So, um... I don't really want to focus on this a lot because I don't wear this a lot, but I would say before that, this was my signature scent and it's the Ralph and I, because of that I always have to have it 
And when Brad and I first started dating, like I wore the Gucci too, kind of in our later years of dating. We dated for a long time. But when I remember we went on like our first date and stuff, Brad said he remembered his car smelled like this and he just, you know, when he would get back in the car it would smell like me and um, it does, it brings back memory so sometimes I'll wear this but you know like he'll immediately know what it is, you know, and same with the Gucci, he loves that. Oh and I meant to say, if you want a really ridiculously good smelling men's cologne, the Gucci 2 for men is amazing. For some reason it's a little harder to, f I don't know, one year I had a really hard time finding it. I'm not sure if it's still... I don't know, I haven't bought that for him in a while, but um, there was even rumors several years back that this was going to be discontinued, but it never was. And if it ever is, I'll literally, like, I'll find her, I'll find Gucci and I'll, I'll write a letter. But the men's cologne and the women's perfume both have that cedarwood note to it and they both have that creaminess. That I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so, so good. Um, but it's kind of fresh at the same time. It's so, so, so interesting. So I will wear the Gucci every day. Very rarely will I just wear another perfume completely on its own. I'll wear the Gucci and some people say, oh, layer perfumes and you might think, wow, that's super, super like overwhelming sounding. But like I'll spray a little bit of the Gucci and then if I want to wear something else, it's just a given that I'm going to wear the Gucci every day and that kind of smells like me. And then if I want to wear something a little different, I'll put it on like you know, like where you'd apply a perfume typically, and it's fine. When Olivia was super, super small, I didn't wear a lot of perfume. Now, you know, it's never bothered her. It's never bothered me. I don't just like bathe myself in it, and I never spray it on areas where like it's going to be directly touching her. Um, like, you know what I, I don't, like for a long period, you know what I mean? Like I'll, a lot of times I'll spray it like on the backs of my knees, like under pants, or um, not on my underpants under your pants see and then like or I'll spray it like you know on my body under my clothes you know what I mean um just to keep it from rubbing all over your child uh this is a new one that reminds me so much of this summer I think because maybe that's when I bought it but it reminds me when I smelled it the first time this that's why I bought it it smelled like summer to me and it's the Hermes Journal Hermes Gardenia the bottle is really beautiful um, this is, I think I went ahead and bought the bigger size, it's the 2.8, almost 3 ounce size, and that's how much I really like it. And you can tell I've used a bit of it. Um, it's very, very potent, you don't need a lot of it, so like I'll wear the Gucci, and then I'll spray like maybe one spray of this, and it's just, oh, it smells so good. This to me smells like gardenia mixed with sunscreen, I know, weird, like, copper tony, like, I know it's weird to say for like an Hermes. It, but it does. It has that scent. So this to me is the most sophisticated beach scent you will ever smell in your whole life. And you wouldn't think because it's like gardenia, you know? But um, gardenia is one of my very, very favorite scents. It's my very favorite flower and I'm really picky about gardenia and perfumes because that's been a trend over the last several years. Um, especially like with the Michael Kors, you know, I think we've all smelled the Michael Kors. It's really heavy gardenia. Um, and then so many perfumes smell exactly like that. But this one has the gardenia, but it also has hints of like other things, and it layers beautifully with the Gucci too, so that is such a good combo. And while I wore that a lot over the summer, I still think I'll wear it. You know, I know people say like summer scents or fall. Yeah, some things do remind me of, and some things are very like fresh and obviously too fruity or too whatever. Maybe, I don't know, to wear in the winter, but I say if you want to wear something, wear it. Who cares? One really summery scent I'll talk about, maybe at the end. Um... But speaking of gardenia, this is my, is this my newest one? Yeah, this is my newest one. It's the Marc Jacobs Mod Noir. I was super drawn to it because of the packaging at first. And I've got to say I was suckered into it because of the packaging. And I smelled it in a store and didn't buy it the day I smelled it, but it just kind of always haunted me. And I thought, I, I really need that. <laughs> this is gardenia done right, I think. It smells like gardenia from a bush to me. Like it smells like a real gardenia. It's not super heavy, like a bunch of other heavy stuff that's overpowering. It's a fresh, creamy gardenia scent, which is a true gardenia scent. This one is gardenia mixed with a little bit of like greenery, which is what a normal, not green, but like um, fresh, like green, you know, like has a bit of that fresh green scent to it. But oh my goodness, so, so 
amazingly yummy and delicious. I feel like I'm talking way too long about each one of these, but I don't know. I bought this in a smaller size. I think this is the one ounce size, but I could see me getting a larger one eventually because um, this is just so great. And again, layers beautifully with the Gucci. If I wanted just a hint of a gardenia, I could spray that and it's just like, ha, ah, smells so, so good. Um, next is the Chanel Chance. I always have some of this. This would probably be one that I would wear on its own because it is so heavy. I have mixed these two. Now, if I'm going to wear this on its own, I'm going to spray like maybe two sprays. That's one thing. I'm not going to come in and spray like 14 sprays or something else. But like if I know I'm going to mix something, I'll just spray like one spray of that and then I'll spray one spray of something else. You know what I mean? I, I never apply like double the amount of perfume. Do you see what I'm saying? hope that makes sense. Um, so if you're going to layer perfume, think about that. But... This is a 1.7 ounce of this, and I know that I never feel bad about buying this. This is a little more expensive, but um, I never feel bad about buying this, but I do because I always use it. And this is probably my third one I've had of this over the years, which is saying something because this is really strong and you don't need much. Um, I've worn this for years, and I really do like it. This was probably my first, like, more sophisticated smelling fragrance. I think I got my first one, like, back in my Ralph days when I was wearing the Ralph all the time. I would alternate this. Um, this was before I found the Gucci too, but it's again something that I always have to have. I'd say these are two perfumes that I always have to have. I love the Chance. I think that it's a very common perfume, but I think when you spray it on you or you smell it on somebody, I just feel like it smells very luxurious, expensive. It smells like just good. You know what I mean? I, I know like sometimes when it's gotten on like some of my scarves that I've worn, I smell the scarf later and I think, oh, that smells expensive. Or, you know what I mean? I hate to say that, but it just smells good. Like it just has that really luxurious scent to it. Okay, what? Which one? Okay. I'm doing this good because I feel like I'm kind of hitting categories. Okay, and then I have a few more like actual perfumes. I have said before in a video a while back that I like a cheap smelling perfume occasionally. Like I like a very girly like Sometimes, honestly, like a cheap smelling perfume. We're like, think of like in the 80s or the 90s when we, do you remember the Liz Claiborne that came in like the um, triangle? That's what I feel like this smells like. It's the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It's beautiful. The bottle is so precious. And I've used a bit of this, but it's a very like, it smells just like that to me. It smells just like that old Liz Claiborne. It has a hint of, um, it's very floral, a touch of like fruit, but it is very, um, I don't want to say like a sharp floral. It's just a very good smelling. It's not a sharp, like headachey floral. I love this. I really, really do. And again, I'll mix that with my um, uh, Gucci too. Love that. Okay. And I love that it has hound's tooth on the bottom. Love that. And then this, okay, I got, I've been wanting this for years. I don't know why I didn't just buy it. I think it was in the time when I had like a million older perfumes and I was on the perfume ban. Now I feel like I'm kind of getting back into them again and I'm like seeing all these other perfumes that I want and I'm trying to stop myself. But I always stopped myself from buying the Burberry London. I had smelled it so many times that every time I would go to a department store, I would go to Sephora or anywhere, I would spray it on me. I always loved it. I don't know why I never got it. But I saw that it came up on Rue La La and it was like $25 or something. So I got this little one. I think this is like a one ounce little one. But I just thought it was so cute. But I really like this scent by Burberry. Um, I haven't smelled any of the new ones. I know that they have the My Burberry and they have like a bunch of other ones. I don't know. I haven't smelled any of them. But this one's kind of like that too. It, but it's a little heavier smelling. I don't think I... It's just good. I like this. And I would again mix this with the Gucci too. It's, um, I would say like it's a floral, but it's the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It smells a little fresher. Um, this one is a very, I would say a heavier floral. And then, um, this I talked about last year. I've used a lot of this actually. It's the Loda Issy, um, by Issy Miyake. And when I smelled this, I remember I liked it. I thought, oh, it smells kind of like sunflowers from the 90s, and it's a little cheap smelling, and I like that. It's kind of floral. It's kind of sweet, and I thought, perfect for summer. I really love the men's version. Really, really, really love the men's version. Brad wore that all summer, and it was really good. Um, but yeah, I would use this and just kind of spray it on my body. It smelled really fresh. I finally realized what it smells like. Back in the day, like I'm talking when I was probably like in eighth or ninth grade, um, the very first 
I guess it was the very first, um, the Abercrombie, when they first had just the one called Abercrombie and Fitch. It was not the one that was, it was before they came out with eight. It was before I think they even came out with the later Abercrombie and Fitch one, maybe even like 10 years ago. It was the one from way, way back that was in the bottle that looked like a Joe Malone bottle. If you guys remember, it was the best scent. I loved it so, so much. I wore that all the time. That was probably my very first perfume that I really got that I liked besides like Baby Soft. And I think I remember my grandma bought me one that was like, do you remember like the Sun, Moon, Stars one that was in the blue bottle? I'll always remember that. I, I had that. Um, that was like my first nicer one, I think. And then I had some of the Britney Spears ones I remember a long time ago. Anyways, the Abercrombie was my favorite. That's what this smells like, just the original old Abercrombie, and um, yeah, so you can see I really enjoyed that, and it's very fresh when you get out of the shower, it's very like clean smelling. Okay, so those are the full-size perfumes that I have. I did get the Elizabeth and James Nirvana, this is the body oil in the black and the white, and um, I wanted just, I thought this was a little different, you know, just to get the body oils and not get the actual perfumes. But I'm so glad that I did because these are very unique. Um, the white smells a little more like freshy, creamy floral, um, like li lilyish. I don't, I don't know what that scent is. And the black is a little more like it's a little heavier, creamy, slightly masculine, but not. They smell amazing mixed together, and I think that's what I said when I mentioned them in that video. But they smell amazing mixed together, and I just like to put a little bit in my hand and not think about it, and just put them on my arms. And sometimes I'll put them like a little here, you know, like where I'll sweat a little, not like under my armpits, but like right there. Oh my gosh, the Mastura Blooming Bouquet smells so good when it heats up. Oh my gosh. Okay, and that's another thing, like your body chemistry, it can alter things, and that like if your, you know, like just the heat, you know, your body heat. I feel like perfume notes though are perfume notes and it's not going to smell like night and day different. You know, it might be a little, certain notes may be a little stronger, um, but you know. I'll go over the little ones in a second. Um, if you don't want to stick around for that, I totally understand. If you do, it's awesome. Please stick around because we'll have some fun. On my wish list for perfumes, I'll go ahead and mention this. I have been so obsessed with this deodorant. Thank you to everybody that recommended it. Thank you to Lisa, Lisa D1, who introduced me to it years ago, but I never bought it. But it was just always in my mind, you know what I mean? And I just always was kind of grossed out by the thought of using it, because, you know, I do use some different scents. I didn't want to say, okay, let me apply another scent, you know, another perfume. It's not really what it is. It's no more than a scented deodorant that you'd buy, like, by Dove or something. It's not overpowering. But oh my gosh, the scent is so like buttery and like creamy and powdery. It's like, I just want to eat it. Like I know that sounds bad, but now I want to see if the Donna Care and Cashmere Mist perfume is like that. Something that is missing in my collection is a good sweet scent. So I want to try this on in the store. My fear is that it's going to be too powdery. I don't want to smell like baby powder. So, which this doesn't on me, it smells more creamy. So I hope the perfume is like that too, but I'm gonna try that on in, in a store and see. That's what I want. I want something really sweet that I can just layer with the Gucci. I have two Diptyque scents. One is in my purse downstairs. You, it's the same, it's in the same bottle, but this is the Dosan. And then I also have the Lombardon Slow, which is the one that has the Swan on it if you're looking at Diptyque fragrances. I will link to all this below. Um, that one I keep in my purse. I love it so, so much. It smells like Bulgarian rose. It's very spicy, very, very, very unique. And um, that's why I'm kind of back and forth. I definitely want a sweet scent, like I was saying. Um, either the cashmere mist, because the deodorant to me smells incredibly sweet, or I want to get just the pink sugar or something. I know the Fresh has, or not Fresh, um, Philosophy has one called Fresh Cream. I just want to smell some in person. Uh, but the Dosan is very sweet. It's very sweet gardenia, almost kind of like the Michael Kors, if you're familiar with that. But the Lombardons Low is my favorite, and if I think what will be like my next real perfume purchase, other than like a sweet one, like I said. I also have the Chloe and the Rollerball, which I didn't use very much of. It's not my favorite. It's okay. It just to me smells like a bathroom. It smells like bathroom cleaner, um, like a grandma's bathroom. And then the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, I had it in a real thing and I used it and kind of went through a phase where I really liked it, but 
it's just not my favorite. I feel like it's not super unique. It was, I really liked it for a while though. But it's just, um, it's, to me, all I smell on this is lemon. I feel like people really like this. And when I want to smell like a lemon, I'll spray it. And I went through a phase where I really wanted to smell like a lemon. And I loved it. But I don't smell like a lemon. I don't. I just don't. And then the clean, this is shower. <laughs> I actually really like this. It's so obnoxiously clean smelling. Like, smells like a... It smells like a bath. Like bath water, I guess. I don't <laughs> Like, yeah, shower fresh. It literally smells like a bath. But, um, yeah, that's kind of fun. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of fun to use if you're not going to really do a perfume. I don't want to go through all these samples. And then, all of my Bond number no. nines. I hate to go through all of these. They are... Do you ever want to have fun and like you're shopping with a girlfriend or you, whatever, go to a Bond number no. 9 counter. But I know like at Saks and stuff, they'll have all of them set out and the person working there usually is so helpful and they'll really go through and help you find one that you like. But the, but the scents are really nice. Some of them are not so unique. I found some that smell just like other things. But um, let me show you my two favorite and if I ever purchased one, of course, Gonna be the, the last two in my hands that I was looking for. The Chinatown and the Centipede. Chinatown, I almost bought years back with a friend of mine. They're pretty expensive, so it's, you know, something you gotta kinda be sure of, I would say. But Chinatown to me smells like Christmas. Um, it's a scent that also reminds me of a little Chanel number no. 5 y mixed with licorice and Christmas. I hate licorice, so I don't even know why I said that, but yeah, it kind of does. It has like a spice to it. It's so good. And then the scent of peace. The bottle to this one is so beautiful. It's blue. It has a little black bow and um, not that that matters, but this is a good, good scent. Gosh, that Chinatown smells good. I kind of want that now. Okay, I'm going to smell so crazy today, but I'm wearing this big sweater, so it's going to hopefully cover it all up, right? The scent of peace is, it's very comforting, it's very floral, a little, um, honestly it smells like, it smells, it smells very floral and very fresh, I would say, okay, I figured it out, I figured it out. It is a grown up version that is not as sharp and fresh and fruity as the Ralph. It's a grown up version of the Ralph, I would say. I hate to say that because it's not like this isn't real. I'm just saying that to me reminds me of being like a kid in high school because that's when I wore it. That's. I feel like I could justify getting that because it would kind of replace my Ralph. Oh my goodness. can't believe it. Sometimes like, it just hits you. I guess because I'm smelling all these different ones and it's like, okay, this is the longest perfume video ever and I apologize. I guess if you're still here, you're enjoying it, right? Um, hopefully. But anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. Perfume is really fun. It's fun to talk about. And like I said, on my, you know, things that I don't like, you may really love or for whatever reason, things that I love, you probably, you know, you may not like at all. So it's just one of those things that's really fun and it's very unique. And to me, scent is one of the biggest things, like memory wise, like I associate different times with different scents and I can smell something and it'll immediately like take me somewhere. So scent is something really cool, I think, um, to kind of to kind of associate with yourself, you know, to kind of define your style even more. And I think that finding a signature scent, like in my case, the Gucci 2, it's really nice to have and to not be afraid to wear with other things because it honestly, it's so easy to layer things. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.